What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you a quick video as to how to create a document in Google Docs. First thing you're going to do is go to www.google.com and click on the sign in button in the top right hand corner. Uh, when you get here just sign in with your Middletown ID and your password and as you can see you are signed in up here in the top right corner. Uh, what you're going to do is slide on over and click on your drive and you will click on the create button and you can either create a document, presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, a drawing. Uh, I would go with uh, today we're just going to do document. Uh, as you see as it loads here it's going to look just like uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, you'll have the ability to type, you'll have the ability to center, uh, move things to the right, change your font, change your size, uh, all those things that you were able to do in Microsoft Word. Okay, as you can see here, I started typing just like I would in a normal Word document. And you can use Google Docs in a variety of ways. I'm giving you an example of what you could do uh, with your students. Uh, perhaps you're reading a book. This is all fictional questions that I came up with, but um, I just wrote there, please complete the following questions and send the document back. Uh, what was your favorite part of the book? What would you have done when you realized your bike was broken? And what could Joey have done to raise money for a new bike. And you can see it does correct spelling errors. Perfect. The great feature of Google Docs is that you actually don't have to save your work. Uh, Google takes the liberty of doing it for you every few seconds. Uh, pretty much every time you make a minor correction to something, you have the uh, Google will automatically back it up to your drive. Uh, and you will have access to this anywhere you can get onto the internet and log on to your Google. Uh, so let's just give this a name so when we do send it to the kids it doesn't say untitled document. So we're going to go up here, uh, rename it, and we'll call it, uh, since I made these questions up, we'll call it the name of the book that I made up, which was Joey's Bike. And now you can see that the name is on there. Okay, so then all you're going to do uh, when you have renamed it and you feel like you're done is you will click back onto your drive. Once you're back in your drive, you can see that the document Joey's bike is right here that I created. And you would just click on that, and then you would click on the share button. Uh, and if you want to learn more about sharing documents, please watch the uh, other video that I have done on uh, sharing documents. So that's how you would share it. One piece of advice I would give you if you are sharing this with all the kids in your class and ask them to do the same assignment, when they open up the uh, document to complete it, have them click on the name up here and rename it with uh, the title and then maybe their last name at the uh, at the end of it. That way you're not going to get uh, 20 copies of the exact same document with the exact same title when they send it back to you. I uh, hope this helps and it is uh, a useful tool for you. Uh, check out some more videos. Again, if you didn't see the one on sharing a document, please click on that one. Hope you have a great day.